The modernization and expansion of the South Shore commuter rail system will bring with it tremendous opportunities for transit-oriented development in Northwest Indiana. What is transit-oriented development? Simply put, transit-oriented development, or TOD, is development that happens around a transit hub like a train station, because that station attracts three things private developers want, people, money, and jobs. And, you know, it's just like we've known for years, uh, people that go to work in the steel industry come back and they spend money in our communities, they buy homes, they do good things for Northwest Indiana. Unfortunately, we have less steel jobs than we used to. This will do the same thing. It's just um, taking uh, people to work in Chicago, bringing them back into our neighborhoods, uh, having transactions occur, which creates economic growth and vibrancy. And so it's going to mean... Um, just upward mobility for everybody involved, higher property values uh, for existing homeowners, um, and again, just a better quality of life for everybody uh, in, in the area. Commuter rail can be a big part of a community's key overall economic development strategy. Not only does it provide more access to employment in Chicago, it also stimulates demand for new housing, businesses, and employment around the rail stations. This is transit-oriented development. You attract boutique shops, you attract restaurants and, and bars, and you attract um, bike shops and dry cleaners, and everything flows from a vision that the community has, but it's all connected with um, the, the notion that you're gonna leverage that, that close proximity to the commuter system that connects people to and from major business markets. The Regional Development Authority is helping communities to plan for transit-oriented development so they can maximize its benefits. Obviously we have a, a station right now, a, a train station that's connected to Chicago and, and uh, connects to the, uh, to the east. Um, there has been some development around those areas, but um, that, when that project was completed many, many years ago, um, there really wasn't a focus on the transit-oriented development around the station. This is an ongoing collaborative process involving not just the RDA, but also county and municipal leadership and Northwest Indiana residents themselves. There are best practices for TOD development, but each has a unique character determined by local residents and leadership. I would argue the planning is the most important part of this. Um, with this type of project, when you have this uh, large infrastructure improvement that potentially is going to happen, um, you really only have one chance to plan out correctly how the ancillary uh, 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 land around those, that project will, uh, how you can shape it to make sure that you are set for success in the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Many towns and neighborhoods in Northwest Indiana are currently working to provide regional connections to each other and to Chicago while integrating denser, walkable housing and retail around transportation hubs. This is reflected in the 2040 plan produced by the Northwestern Indiana Regional Planning Commission, our regional planning agency. It's also really important to our region's growth and development that we have better transit. Um, it enables all the people to benefit from our um, growth and our activities and all the great assets we have in our region when they can move around better. Um, particularly expanding our rail access to Chicago is a huge um, important piece of the 2040 plan, um, as is transit-oriented development and um, livable communities. Cities all around the country are pursuing transit-oriented development strategies as a way to achieve many goals, including better quality of life, reduced congestion, lower transportation costs, improved air quality, and population growth. We certainly think that's a huge part of our future. If we're able to get a high-functioning commuter rail system here, we think it'll offer um, you know, the future generation uh, you know, an, an opportunity to want to stay in this area, whereas right now they're moving out. Uh, they're, they're voting with their feet, um, and so I think that's uh, our job to change that. Chicago's Illinois suburbs have seen significant transit-oriented development surrounding metro stations, creating strong and sustainable communities that hold their value even when times get tough. Our National Association has done quite a few studies on transit-oriented development, and what we generally find is that property values are higher uh, the closer you are to a, uh, a high-functioning, high-capacity commuter rail station. And not only the immediate um, area, you know, the transit-oriented development, that half mile uh, within the station, but the surrounding areas as well uh, have shown that property values, not only during a housing boom, 
uh, you know, rise dramatically, but during a downturn, which we just experienced not too long ago, those properties generally stay more stable in terms of value, and they also are the type of properties that sell more quickly in that type of environment. The improvements along the South Shore Corridor and the creation of the Westlake Line will provide the catalyst for the communities of Gary, East Chicago, Portage, Hammond, Munster, and Dyer to take advantage of the TOD trends being seen on a national scale. All of our communities are very different and uh, it's going to require a deeper and more thoughtful level of understanding of each of our communities and each of their stations, what are their past goals, what are their present goals, and what are their future goals. The importance of creating vibrant active urban environments around transit will bring significant development to Northwest Indiana communities. By the year 2040, an estimated $2.3 billion in capital investment, nearly all of it private investment, is projected across all eight station area locations. The impact will be felt for generations to come. When you look at Chicago, you have to recognize that it's the third largest economy in the country and the ninth largest in the world. It is a port for international commerce uh, and for every kind of job there is. There are as many jobs in Chicago as there are in the state of Indiana. Uh, so what does that mean in the big picture? Uh, what we're doing is we're making a serious move to, to level the playing field with our peer communities in the suburbs, uh, to take our rightful place uh, as a true suburb of Chicago with all the benefits that come with it. Uh, so this is a long-term play uh, and a very sustainable play. Um, we are anchoring ourselves uh, to one of the most successful economies in the world uh, and um, opening up global opportunities for Hoosiers. Transit-oriented development along the expansion of the South Shore Line will mean more jobs, a better economy, and greater opportunities for residents and business owners in Northwest Indiana.